Any example of something vintage that is perfect has no soul, no story or life lived. These are not those examples. Webster L. Marble came to Michigan's Upper Peninsula in the early 1890s. Marble loved the outdoors and the vast Upper Peninsula offered innumerable opportunities to hunt, fish, camp, and to explore the environment. An inventor by nature, he was continually seeking to create useful tools and equipment that would be both practical and durable in the outdoors. Marble almost single-handedly turned the hunting knife into a must-have piece of outdoor gear. This started in 1899, and most were handled in a feature pioneered by Marble, stacked leather washers. The example in the video is called the Expert. It was introduced in 1906 and is considered a great all-round outdoor knife. Sometime in this knife's history, a copper soldered and riveted shield was added to the bottom of the sheath. This could have been because the knife had begun to poke through the bottom of the sheath, or it was intended to protect the knife from damage when being carried in the field. The patina on both the knife and the shield, they are amazing. This knife's current owner and curator is a hunter and trapper and part native Blackfeet Indian who found the knife in an antique store over 20 years ago and still uses the knife to this day to skin both deer and beaver. There was a time before today when clocks had hands and a compass pointed you in the right direction. Each took skill and understanding how to read and how to use. This is a tailor compass. For any hunter or outdoors person, the compass was a critical part of the kit that occupied a pocket of the wool buffalo plaid jacket that was worn to hold back the cold of an early November morning. The Taylor Instrument Company was a U.S. manufacturer located in Rochester, New York. Taylor's success story began in 1851 when George Taylor and his partner David Kendall built thermometers in Rochester and sold them from their wagon. The company's name was changed in 1872 to Taylor Brothers and later incorporated in 1890. This pocket watch style compass is in terrific shape and still retains its original box and the radioactive warning tag. Its name is the Sea by Night Compass and can be seen in the company's 1916 catalog. The company has been sold many times and been incorporated into other instrument companies and today is known as ABB Instrumentation Inc. Altogether, these things represent several generations of American history, craftsmanship, and manufacturing. If you enjoyed this type of video, please give it a like and share comments below if you or your family have your own experiences with any of these American icons. I'll see you in the next video.